Hello everyone. Today I am excited to introduce a new fantastic feature that will enhance your secure folder app experience. The ability to lock and unlock files. This has been one of our most requested features and today I would like to show how easy it is to lock or unlock files using this new functionality. So for demonstration purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the files on my desktop. So as you can see, I have a folder called test that contains three image files. However, this feature works with any file type. You can think of Word, Excel, videos, and other file types that you can think of. Now I'll head back to the app and go to the permissions tab. This is the first and foremost step. Here, I'll click on the add folder button and add the folder that is containing all of those files. I select that particular folder and the folder is added to the list. By adding the folder to the permissions list, you are letting the app or basically giving the permission for the app to access the files in that particular folder. This step ensures that everything works seamlessly with just a simple button click, either it can be a lock action or an unlock action. So once the permissions setup is complete, all you need to do is add the list of the files that you want to lock or unlock. So I will click on the add files button and I select the files that I want to add to my list. Select one file or you can select multiple files. As you can see, once I select the files, the app adds those file paths to the list. Now you can click on the lock button or the unlock button by selecting them or you can select all of them at the same time, click on the lock button. And if I go back to the desktop, the location where you can see those files are already locked. You can unlock the files again by selecting the files that you want to unlock. And as you can see it here, they are unlocked. You can also unlock directly from the desktop. So by clicking, by basically double clicking on it, you can open that particular file, click on the unlock, enter your secure folder password and click OK. And the file is now successfully unlocked. One last thing I want to mention before I end this video is make sure you set the email ID in the application by clicking on the set or change recovery email ID. This app locks all the files based on the email ID that is set up in the application. So if you haven't already set up an email ID, make sure you do because otherwise you won't be able to use this feature. Thank you.